All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Dragons. That's right, we have a new donation deck to play here. We have new set, which means new sweet dragons, specifically Dracuseth, Maw of Flames. We played Dracuseth one other time in a reanimate deck, and it was really good in the reanimate deck. Oh my gosh, Sir Tails. Going crazy with the gifted subs. Everybody get your hype in the channel. We're gonna have some sub notifications here for a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Tails. So yeah, we're not we're not trying to reanimate uh Dracu Seth too much here. We're we are playing some good clean magic here where we are uh getting up to seven mana and casting Dracuseth the hard way, um, you know, with, with our seven mana. Thankfully, we have, to, in order to do that, we have Dragon Swords that, you know, do a little bit of ramping for us. And then we, of course, have Sarkin Fireblood. Adding two mana is really a big deal there. Uh, so, got some good ramp um, to get to our Dracusets here. <laughs> Thanks, Lion. Thanks, Lion. And uh, let's see. All right, so Dr. Grindle says that the Niv's in the sideboard instead of the Liliana because Liliana is just a stronger card overall, and you can swap her out for Niv against the Counterspell decks. Gotcha. That sounds sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good plan there. Uh, yeah, besides that, we just have like some good good quality blue, uh, black, red, you know, Grixis color removal. Um, and some hand disruption going seven discard spells main deck. I actually kind of like that. Uh, Duress is definitely in a good spot these days. Uh, lots of spell heavy decks running around. Love me some ritual sets with all like the Nissas and everything. Um, yeah, pretty nice looking list here. Lands we got like 26. Perfect. 26 land. All right, looks good. So. With this being a donation deck, we're going to head on over to our traditional constructed queue. That's what we always do with donation decks. Uh, spend our 1,000 gold to enter, play until we win either five matches or lose two matches, whichever happens first. Hopefully five wins. We've had a little bit of a rough day today, but we are re refreshed, restarted, and here we go. Yeah, today has been bonkers for subs, yeah. Yeah, Sir Tails gifting out 20 subs today, and then we've had 16 other subs. Y'all have been amazing. Even if even if you don't count the gifted subs, the 16 subs is a is a really good day for me. So thank y'all so much, everybody, and you know thank everybody for for watching and everybody on the YouTube video later on. Whatever day you're watching this, hope you're having a good day. All right, pretty good hand against Mono White. Well, presuming Mono White or White Splash, whatever. Ah, Vampires. Never mind. Still a good hand, the Ritual Set. So we have Dub's Conquistador. Zealot can draw a card. The Prophet does not die to this set, so we're going to want to wait um, on the Rampage and wait, wait till we can hopefully Rampage away that Prophet. We're gonna actually just take a zealot because like those things just you know replace themselves and everything. So two four six coming in, that's fine. Make that 10. We can make them sacrifice an artifact. Okay. What are you up to? Hmm. 
That's not good. They had the other creature to protect the Twilight Prophet. That's really not good. All right, well, we got rid of a Sanctum Seeker. All right, now they ascended, which makes our life a little worse. Ooh, and Vanguard's gonna make it even worse. <laughs> okay, well, how are we doing this? Yeah, we needed that fifth land. I guess I shouldn't have kept the, the next Ritual of Soot. Gotta get rid of this icon. Ugh, gross. So that's lethal. I just have to attack out. Yeah, 26 land deck. Did not find lands. I mean, they, all they needed to do was just attack me with everything. I was dead. So again, I'll be dead if they just attack out, making a vampire here. Uh, no. Dake? 96? It is not. This is the first time having a losing record with the Chandra Travel deck. Cry of the Carnarium, get on in here. I kind of want all the Contempts, honestly, too. Help get rid of Vanguards. And we're getting rid of these things. Do we want Coils also? Probably. What as far as like the top end am I cutting? Like am I just gonna get rid of dragons and go Liliana Bolas? Probably. I don't think this is like really a matchup where we need like the fancy top end. Just grind people out with these things. You can still play a Dracuseth or a Nymph Mizzet Perun. We have room for one more. No, we'll just play a Bedevil. Keeping in the, the rampage, because as we saw, like the artifact. Yeah, Sarkin, Sarkin's still just fine with the yeah, with the cycling ability if we flood out or or anything like that. 
All right, well, we got to draw lands, but, you know, we're playing our 26 land deck. It didn't work last time, but hopefully it works this time. It's already not a land. <laughs> I don't know if we I don't know if we have any lands that come into play untapped in the deck, honestly. It looks like we maybe only have tap lands. I think we have 26 tap lands in here. I think that's all we have. <laughs> that's all we got. I didn't even realize there were 26 tap lands in uh in Grixis colors, but I guess so. I guess there are. It's kind of odd. I didn't think there were that many. <laughs> Alright, untap land. Come on, deck. You can do it. Untap land. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, I guess so. Man. Alright, so plan next turn. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Wow, that Sanctum Seeker was a was a beating. Well, my plan was to bedevil the Twilight Prophet, you know, and then, then Ritual of Soot, and we were going to be fine. This Sanctum Seeker, what a beating that was. I don't have a choice. How am I winning this, though? What a beating. Sanctum Seeker was perfect there. I, I didn't think we were losing that game at all until that Sanctum Seeker. I that whole that whole game and even game one. Game one for a little while. Um but that game I, I really thought we were winning that. Okay, there there is a shock land in the deck. You may need to Report this to your local news service. We do have a shock land in the deck. Oh yeah, that's definitely the tap lands. Oh yeah, our that was certainly the only reason why we lost that. All right, got our one shock land. Don't need any more. Feather is legendary, so cast down doesn't kill feather. We'll just get rid of that thing before uh, a protection spell comes on in. Man, look at this. When you actually get to play untapped lands and play on curve. It's so nice. Hey, QQ, good evening. <laughs> A local cat owner draws shock land. <laughs> Opponent concedes. Uh, Niv Mizzet kind of seems, seems kind of cool against the feather deck. It's playing their spells. Well, that could be better for us than Dracuseth. Dracuseth. We need more removal. More removal. More removal. 
Um, I don't know if we need that much removal. That's kind of a lot of removal. I do like Duress in this matchup, though. It's one way to get spells out of their hands. <laughs> oh, uh... I'm not... No, like, no, mana base is just fine. Yeah, you have the, like, the 24... You have the 24 duels and two other basics. Um, I don't really like that the basics are islands, considering... Uh, red and black, especially black, seem more important. The only reason to have islands is because the Niv Mizzet that's in the sideboard. Two more cards. The problem, of course, with putting swamps, though, is, is of course, niv -Mizzet. Then, you know, you don't really want swamps in your niv -Mizzet deck. It's, so that's, that's kind of tough, because, like, this card, you need swamps. You can't be playing basic islands with this card and with, like, Ritual of Soot and all that kind of stuff. But then, the niv -Mizzet, you really don't want... I don't really want to shock right now. So it's a, it's a tough call. I I kind of think that that maybe maybe not like maybe you don't need Niv Mizzet Perun in the sideboard. Well, that's tough though. It's a it's a really good card against counter spell decks. Mountain is probably better than Island, but Mountain doesn't cast Thought Erasure. And that's tough. Could try Big Chandra instead of Niv Mizzet for Counterspell decks, that's true. So the reason not to cast Duress is because our opponent's sitting on six cards over there. Duress just makes it five cards. They, of course, did just draw a land, but if they... Yeah, so now it's seven cards. If they don't draw a land, they have to go to discard. Um, I guess maybe I should be playing this thing. Like, have what? Like, Haste Creature? I guess if I am playing this thing, then I should be duressing. Because they have to get rid of a card. I was kind of going to wait till they go to discard and stuff. But I guess I guess we're going to play this thing, though. Alright, got the fry out of their hand. I am one again. Conceivable. You have no weakness I cannot exploit. Mm -hmm. I will return. Getting rid of my Nicol Bolas. I do decree that that was rude. Yet, yeah, niv -Mizza doesn't pair well against the Planeswalkers that are in the format. It doesn't. Uh, with, yeah, like the Teferi's getting rid of niv -Mizzet without drawing cards and all that kind of stuff. It, it's not very good against Esper. It's, I mean, by, by not very good, I mean it could be better.
I realized what was going to happen there right after I attacked. I had to hope that my opponent was going to cast the Sheltering Light. I really shouldn't have attacked there, of course. I just had to hope that they were going to cast the Sheltering Light and I was going to be able to bedevil their creature, but they didn't. But yeah, I really should not. You can't flip at instant speed. Yeah, you can only flip sorcery speed. So once I once I accidentally attacked, I could not flip anymore. So yeah, the the attack was was incorrect. Just had to hope my opponent also made an incorrect move at that point. They didn't. We have better draw stuffs than they do, though. So, like, our top end things, we got got some really good stuff that we're drawn into. I, I already did draw the Ravager, which should have won me this, but I messed it up. And we drew another one. All right, no fry, please. Dang. So I could cast the Bedevil to keep them from drawing a card. Or I guess I would keep them from drawing a card and putting that back in their hand, though. No, don't do not do the Resolve All. Undo that. Alright, well. We're gonna need to draw another dragon. Hey, Kurtash. to untap the Liliana. All right, good sign. Yeah. <laughs> 
Liliana's very good. It took a little bit, it took a few draw steps for us to get there, but looking really good for us now. Rise and shine. I'm really glad that they changed it so that the, the cards with card styles make card style art tokens. I'm really glad about that. Yeah, I definitely considered... I don't know what I'm doing here, but hey, it's Chandra. Be fun. Definitely considered casting rituals set to draw two. But I think I didn't really... Like, I thought we could wait. Um, the, like... They could have, like, God's Willing to get through, but still didn't kill the Liliana, so I thought we could just wait. Okay, new match. One and one. Let's see what we got. We have a Shockland. Keep it. Keep it real quick before the Shockland goes away. Well, speaking of sacrificing, the priest is all about the sacrificing, right? So even though, like, Ju like if they have Judith, cast down doesn't kill the Judith. But I, I just figured that like, rampage could probably would probably like lose value quickly. And as you can see, it did lose value quickly. And so the, just playing the rampage there, even though if they had Judith, I wouldn't. You know, it would have been legendary and I couldn't cast down. Unclear what the shock and pass is about. We got four mana instance instant? No. The shock and pass. Ooh, frenzy's good. Especially Frenzy immediately hit land. That's real good. Good, we're drawing land too. That's why you play the gain gain life lands, right? So you can shock and you just gain your life right back. You know if you don't need to shock. Oh, poor frenzy. I'm guessing this is a spark harvest here. Ooh, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Track you, Seth. <clears throat> Chandra, you need more control. Go get him, buddies. Stop.
the multiverse will bend to my will. Alright, so we'll get Chandra out of there. And Arcanist out of here. Well, I guess I could have done that in the other order. Could have saved one life. We could be at seven instead of six. Down to four. The real question is whether or not to attack here or try to protect against haste creatures. I think we attack. There wasn't really a good option to flip there. Last turn, that is. I am limitless. Mortal be cool, but you are all so generous. Yeah, so they can only Yeah, they could only return gutter bones on their own turn. So yeah, even though we took damage whenever we killed the gutter bones, they couldn't put the gutter bones back in their hands. Alright, contempt and coil. And cry the carnaria. Man, our our sideboard coming through clutch here. Gotta exile all those things. Basically, uh, doing the same thing we're doing every every round. Keep on playing against these aggro decks. That's actually never happened. Nobody's ever flipped Nicol Bolas the Ravager and lost. Nope. It's never happened in history. Um, no, we don't want Dragon's Horde whenever we're taking out all the dragons. Whenever we just have Ravager left. Debating on, you know, Sark and Liliana over, you know, playing a Bedevil here. You know, I'm going to play Bedevils over the Rampages. I don't think the Rampages are too good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess. All right, I guess maybe some people have lost after flipping Ravager. All Shocklands. We either draw all the buddy lands or all the shock lands. It's pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. We begin madness. <laughs> what madness? Strike like you mean it. 
What are all these lands doing? I should do this. Wow, their discard was frenzy. That's good for us. A dragon would rather die than lose. Let's get rid of that last card. Could be another frenzy. It was. Oh, no! A third frenzy? No. That's alright. We got the dragon god. The king of the dragon deck. The dragon god. Have been foiled. My intellect is without limit. Start exiling their permanents, make it hard to cast stuff off Frenzy. Hmm. We're hoping they don't hit land drops with Frenzy. That's what we're hoping. I have other schemes to attend to. Well, Ritual said it's a good draw. And this one looks locked up. We had some good draws there. The Dragon God and then, you know, uh, last turn and the Ritual upset this turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't yeah exile the card in hand to the Bola stick up instead of a land, considering they can't can't play those things with Frenzy in play. <laughs> oh well it's still a game frenzy is pretty great sometimes this game was very over last turn and now it's not over at all anymore got now this frenzy has just been incredible that's what it is it's an awesome awesome card mm, all this does is they can't play any of these things in hand anyway Do they have anything that costs one they can use? Spark they can cast Spark Harvest. I guess I don't really want them casting Spark Harvest. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. I'll, you know, I'll definitely be blocking with a zombie. I draw a card, their gutter bones goes to the graveyard. All right, looks like they they finally hit a little bit of a land patch. Crazy game there, crazy match. That was a close one. That was that was a good game. Those are that was a good match. Had some good back and forth there. GG's. The Angel Death.
I don't know, their Frenzy deck got to do some cool things. That, you know, playing, playing, Ar like that turn three play, after they play Arcanist, they went Duress, take your Cry of the Canarium, attack, Duress again. Like, Duress, attack, Duress again is pretty sweet. I'm suspecting this is, like with this being Gates, this is like a Scape Shift deck. So the, the people that I've seen playing Gates recently have been Scape Shift, Scape Shifting. Um, which is good for our sideboard. Sideboard Crowd the Carnariums and everything. Yeah, we, we got to get rid of the basic islands in the deck, because we see here. Uh, islands don't cast hardly anything. Yeah, we got to have... I guess we have mountains instead. If we want to support the Niv-Mizzet in the sideboard, if we don't want swamps. But then I'd probably have, like, the mountain... In, and draw Thought Erasure. I don't know, it's tough. Maybe just, maybe no basics. And just play two temples. It's a fast clock. All right, so no, this looks like kind of like old school four color gate control. Yeah, Bob, this is this is a donation deck that I didn't put together that I didn't put together. <laughs> no, I don't want to get sinkled on turn 2. If Sinkhole isn't standard, I'll be playing it all the time, though. I can tell you that. Yeah, this could be a escape shift deck. Yep. Yeah, we talked about that. <clears throat> Certainly could be. But with seeing like Clarion, I'm less convinced that that's what this deck is. So the that whole time I was kind of debating whether or not to play play the land, or you know have it to discard to the Sarkin. This is nine power in the air. I'm likely going to be using the Sarkin to add mana the, the, this next turn, so we'll just get the land in play. And if they do kill Sarkin, another red source lets us play Dracuseth, or another land at all would let us flip the Ravager. I don't think I can beat this.
Wait a minute, I should have taken the angel. I should have taken the angel. They are coming. Okay. No, maybe I shouldn't have taken the angel. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I probably I should have just cast the Dracu Seth, but then Oh well, this is fine. Everything's fine. Cause yeah, they go to twelve, we'd attack for eleven. It's actually, yeah, no, everything's, everything's fine. The Securitas Rats are the best cards in their hand, because they are, put two lands into play and draw four cards. Like, they're the, they're the best cards. I, I'm certainly glad I took one, because... We can't like the the routes are gonna be really hard to actually beat. So yeah, taking taking route was was definitely the right play. Cause them having more mana is a huge problem for us, of course. Is there a way to get this Dracu Seth haste? I know what I'm doing. If I just play Dracky Seth here, I'm not winning, am I? Good chance I'm going to be discarding Dracu Seth next turn. But I don't know how I'm winning. No! Just don't have anything against Guild Summit, do we? Just not a card you see very often. I was just thinking about like what we're gonna do in sideboard games. Not sure what we're gonna do here.
Hey, what's up, Dynasty? Thanks for that sub there. I really appreciate that. Sub 37. Hmm. They're concerned about drawing too many cards. Didn't even play the Niv first. Oh, why can't we make that block? The Gates of Blaze would have just been able to kill my creature if they wanted. That we knew about. Like we knew about those Gates of Blazes. Where the Gates of Blaze doesn't kill... It doesn't kill Gatebreaker Ram. Would have dealt 10 damage there. Tracky set's just not too good, is it? I don't know, maybe Demanding Dragon. Do I want Demanding Dragon or Nivmiz at Perun? I'm either playing for these last two cards, I'm either playing Niv-Mizzet or Demanding Dragon. I guess Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, without Revival, it's, it's really tough to get this 7-mana Dragon to actually do things. All right, we have early discard, which is certainly necessary. We need the early discard for getting rid of Guild Summit. That's as we saw there that game. Guild Summit just you know drew like the two Guild Summits drew around uh, twenty five cards or so. I guess it's more about it's more like twenty. Yeah, dealing with extra twenty cards is kind of kind of difficult. You're gonna take out the hordes for revivals. But if we take out Dragon Horde for revival, you're not you're not really getting your creatures in your graveyard very much. I I do like Dragon Horde. I don't think you really get rid of that card. I just don't think Dracu I don't think Dracu sets worth it at all. I think that that Hellkite is likely just a, a better card. I'd have to have so much removal. I was going to be taking the coil here for the Ravager, but they have a crushing canopy also. I guess they don't have red mana right now. Oh, wait, no. Is this thing red mana? That thing's red mana. Never mind. We're going to discard the Cinder Vines, I would expect. Yeah.
But yeah, Dr. Grindel, I think the last time that you had you had me play uh, Grixis Dragons, I liked where we were at more. I think just that we have some better dragons to be playing than Dracu Seth. Seven mana is just too much. Hoping, we're just hoping we draw a Dragon God. Uh, Liliana also very good. Niv Mizzet is fine. We just you know, gotta draw some kind of top end card. I'm still playing lands out that maybe. Uh, we're not gonna be able to play Niv Mizzet and flip it. I guess I should hold on to lands because of um, Sarkin. I should hold on to this because of Sarkin. Yeah, they could respond to the flip activation with. They could respond to the flip activation with Crushing Canopy if they have their mana up. Alright, so that's all the lands we're going to play. Because that's four and then seven. But we would like to draw a Planeswalker. Any of the Planeswalkers. Still get to draw a couple of cards with Dragon Sword. There's, there's really no reason to do this, but there's no reason not to do it either. I mean, I guess, well, the reason to do it is they just forget to cast Crushing, they forget to cast Crushing Canopy and they just let it resolve. That's the reason to do it. There's not, usually I wouldn't be doing it, but there's just no reason not to do it. Just sitting back with all of our real estate. Oh, cool. I draw th Thought Erasure after they play Niv Mizzet. That's, that's convenient. That's a convenient time to have Thought Erasure, I'd have to say so myself. They get to draw a card, of course. And it deals me two damage. We got rid of the explosions. That was really nice. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you'd want Dracu Seth and Gruul Arcbow. The revival deck, though, is interesting. Like, I think that's that's where you'd want it as a is a dedicated reanimate deck. Yeah, this is not good.
15 lands and 25 cards. Sixteen lands and twenty six cards. Not very good at all. Oh well. <laughs> That's what we get for, you know, not against the vampire deck, not being able to draw any lands. It's magic, magic stuff. So, yeah, basically, no, it's the dragons are, are tough. Like, Dracuseth was, you know, just kind of a wasted card slot. It just wasn't, wasn't good at all. But even Demanding Dragon is just not really that powerful. Um... Oh, is... What about Hellkite? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, Skarg and Hellkite would, like... I think this is just a better Dracuseth. I think that this would be a better card to be playing if you want to be playing the Dragons, but there's just not a whole lot of good reasons to be playing the Dragons these days. Because, unfortunately, the all the Planeswalkers are just pretty good against the Dragons, and... Dragons are in a really rough spot right now. Unfortunately. But the Hellkite would, would definitely be better than Dracu's death. But it's, it's honestly, like, our best cards were, like, you know, the Dragon God. Um, Liliana was definitely okay. But, you know, like, Liliana, Dragon God. This, this you know, obviously this Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, is awesome. But this is kind of like the one one really, really good dragon. Um, as we talked about, the islands need to be something else. They either need to be red or black uh, or both, like, one mountain Probably like one mountain, one swamp. For those, they they really shouldn't be islands. Island is, as you can see here, there's only three cards that have any any blue mana in them in the main deck. Like we shouldn't have islands. Uh, let's see. Our sideboard was good. I mean, but like it seemed like our sideboard should kind of be our main deck. All this stuff. I don't know. You know, having 13 removal spells in the sideboard doesn't give you a whole lot of options, though. Should maybe be split up and and some other things. But, you know, like, just playing Grixis is kind of... feels like if we were just playing Azkanta and Narset and other Planeswalkers and other things, we'd have better chances than what we had there. Yeah, so sorry, Dr. Grindle, didn't do your deck uh, too much justice there. But well, that's Grixis Dragons. Uh, um, any other questions with the list or anything there? But Lathless, yeah, no, no real use for Lathless, just very expensive. I, I would be more interested in playing a Lathless than playing a Dracuseth. Because like actually like casting this card for seven mana and then and then attacking with it to get the trigger, that seems kind of pie in the sky. I would rather have Lathless than Dracuseth, but I would I'd rather have Hellkite though than either of them. There. Yeah. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and please hit that like and subscribe button over there. Uh, thank you so much for watching some Grixis Dragons, though, and uh, I'll see you for the next video.